dear friends now i am explaining the further experiments with their mcqs that is the multiple choice questions for the bs students semester second paper number 5 practical paper this is a part of srt university nambi it is equally applicable for the another universities and uh, different classes also now i am explaining for you the mcqs that is the multiple choice questions on the experiment viscosity that is the determination of viscosity of a given liquid by using the postwalds viscometer postwalds viscometer is a instrument in which such two vertical glass tubes are present which are connected with each other in this way in the this viscometer experiment or instrument this is a bulb which is larger one this is a glass bulb in the tube that is a smaller one the liquid whose viscosity we have to measure that is taken here in the bulb then suck the liquid from the another bulb which containing a small bulb then what happen the liquid from this bulb this is bulb c for example this is bulb c this is bulb d whenever we are sucking the liquid from this tube then liquid flows from bulb c to bulb d by the sucking tube whenever liquid goes above the point a here there is a point a here there is a point a here is point a here is point b whenever liquid is allowed to flow downward after sucking then we have to measure the time whenever liquid flows from point a to point b the same experiment we have to repeat for the liquid also whenever liquid is allowed to uh, the this experiment is done for the liquid initially once again i am repeating take the liquid whose viscosity we have to measure suck it through the tube sucking tube then liquid will reach above the point a then it is allowed to flow back from bulb d to bulb c during that we have to measure the time required to flow from point a to point b then remove the liquid then wash it perfectly and add to it distilled water and suck the water 
above the point A by using the sucking tube. Then allow to flow the water from point A to point B and count the time in minutes whenever liquid water flows from point A to point B. Means by knowing the time required to flow from point A to point B for the liquid and the time required to flow from point A to point B for water, that values we have to put up here in this way. Then T2, T1, T2 is the value required for flowing the required from T2 is a time required to flow the liquid from point A to point B that is T2. T1 is a time required to flow the water back from point A to point B that is T1. By putting the value of T2, T1 in this formula, then viscosity coefficient eta2 we could calculate for the given liquid. Eta1 is a viscosity coefficient for water. Rho2 is a density for the liquid. Rho1 is a density of the water at a given temperature and so on. By putting all these values in the formula, eta2 is equal to rho2 upon rho1 into t2 upon t1 into eta1, we could find out the viscosity of the given liquid. Then, by putting all these values, we could find out the viscosity of given liquid. Then the MCQ on this experimentation, viscosity of the given liquid is determined by the formula dash dash. Option A and uh, eta1 is equal to root 2 upon rho1 into t2 upon t1 into eta2. Option B, eta2 is equal to root 2 upon rho1 into t2 upon t1 into eta1. Option C, eta1 is equal to root 2 upon rho1 into t1 upon t2 into eta2. Amongst of these, the option and then fourth option, that is the D option is the none of the above. Amongst of these, second option, that is option B is correct here. Hence, the option B is correct. Then the Next option, that is the, in the Ostwald's viscometer experiment, the liquid is allowed to flow from point A to dash dash. In this experiment, we are allowing to flow the liquid, circular the liquid from point A to point B. And hence the option is point B. That first option is point C, B option is point D, C option is point B, D option is none of the above, the, and the answer is option C, that is the point B. Means, in the Ostwald's viscometer experiment, the liquid is allowed to flow from the point A to D, A to B, not D, and hence the option C is correct one. Then, the next experiment, that is the determination of surface tension by using stalagmometer. This is a stalagmometer tube in which we are sucking the liquid from the beaker whose surface tension we have to measure above the point A. Then we are allowing to flow that liquid from point A to point B and we are counting the number of drops in the beaker whenever liquid flows from point A to B. Then remove the liquid and use the distilled water for the same experimentation. So the distilled water above the point A in the stalagmometer, then allow to flow that water from point A to point B. And count the number of drops which are falling during the flow of water from point A to point B. In this way, by knowing the number of drops of the liquid during 
flow of liquid from A to point B and the number of drops of water which are falling from the scalar meter whenever the water drops or water allows to flow from point A to point B. From these two values, we are calculating the surface tension by using the stalagmometer. Then multiple trace questions on this experiment. First, MCQ that is the determination of surface tension is possible by use, using the apparatus dash dash. Option A, hydrometer. Option B, thermometer. Option C, ammeter. Option D, stalagmometer. Option D that is the stalagmometer is an instrument which is used to determine the surface tension and hence the option D is correct one. Option D is correct one. Then next options are the multiple choice questions. Every liquid experiences a force at its surface molecules in a inward direction that force is called dash dash. Option A is viscosity, option B is surface tension, option C is A and B, option D is none of the above, the answer is B. In this case option B is a correct option. Why it is so? Because whenever liquid molecules which are present at the surface of the liquid, that surface molecules are experiencing inward pull. That inward pull or the force is called the surface tension and the, hence the surface tension option is correct one. Then the next MCQ apparatus used to determine the equivalent weight of magnesium is dash dash. Option A viscometer, option B stalagmometer, option C idiometer, option D ammeter. For determining the equivalent weight of magnesium, we are using the idiometer apparatus and hence the option C is correct here. C is the correct option. Then next MCQ. The property of liquid to resist to show resistance to flow is called a dash dash and measured by dash dash apparatus. Surface tension uh, option A surface tension, option B aqueous solution tension, sir, option C osmotic pressure, option D viscosity. The answer is option D is correct one. That is that to measure the the property of liquid to show the resist to show the resistance to flow is the concern with the viscosity and hence the option D is correct one. Then next MCQ viscosity is measured in dash dash units. Option A poise, option B mg, option C n oblique m newton per meter option d kg answer a is correct being the viscosity is measured into the points then next multiple choice question determination of surface tension is done by the formula option a gamma 1 is equal to n2 upon n1 into d1 upon d2 into gamma 2 option b gamma 1 is equal to n1 upon n2 into d1 upon d2 into gamma 2. Option C, gamma 1 is equal to n1 upon n2 into d2 upon d1 into gamma 2. Option D, none of these. Option 1 is a correct option with which we could find out the surface tension of the given liquid. Then the next MCQ, surface tension is measured in the unit. Option A, gram per centimeter, option B, wise, option C, dyne per centimeter, option D, newton meter. The option C is correct option, being we are measuring the 
surface tension in 10 per centimeter. This is a correct option. Then next MCQ that is the for determination of surface tension by using stalagmometer, the liquid is allowed to flow from a mark A to mark B and a dash dash is recorded. Option A time, option B number of drops, option C A and B both, option D none of the above. Option B is correct in this case being we are measuring the number of drops in that experiment. In this way, I have explained for you the two experiments here that is the viscosity determination by Ostwald viscometer and the determination of surface tension by using the stalagmometer. Thanks for watching.